Benny Productions, Benny Productions, Benny Productions. Why does everybody always want me to make Benny Productions VFX? Well, I'm not the one who decides what to make on my channel, my audience does. So, my name is Farid and you're watching VFX with Reed, a series on this channel where we take the Hollywood VFX and break them down into simpler bits for you to understand. Today's effect was requested by Daniel Latry. Sorry if I don't pronounce your name correct. He said, could you try to recreate the new intro from Benny Productions into bracket the one with a picture of himself? Love your content. Thank you very much. I'll get right into it. Before we continue, I'd like to tell you that if this is your first time watching, I guess then you should hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'd be notified whenever I post exciting content like these. Jumping right into the effects we are going to be using After Effects and Cinema 4D. But in case you're not the 3D artist, I have got you covered. I have in the links in the description a google drive file where i have put all the rendered files and the project files for you and i think this is the last time i'm going to be doing that because it's basically meant for only my patrons so just in case you want to be my patron it's very simple click the second link in the description and just donate something to me on my buy me a coffee account and then you get the chance to become a patron without any further ado again let's jump right into it First thing is to change my 2D icons into 3D and Benny always uses Photoshop but I'm a 3D artist so I'm going to be using Photoshop and converting my icons into illustrator parts and sending them into Cinema 4D and changing them into 3D icons. The ready 3D icons will be available for you link in the description so you can check it out just in case you cannot create your own 3D icon. Rendering all of them as PNGs with an alpha mat, I'm sending all of them into Photoshop and then adding glues just to make them look a little bit perfect. Now all I had to do was to create my background and a reference image and export all of them as PNGs and now sending them into After Effects before I can now start with the compositing. In After Effects, I'm going to import my PNGs that I exported in Adobe Photoshop and then I'm going to create a new camera and then I'm going to create position keyframes moving from an extreme close-up of my eye to a cowboy shot of me and then reverse. And then I now started adding the rendered PNGs into my composition, making them 3D and pushing them inside the X, Y and Z space with my reference image as a reference. I then added simple rotation keyframes on the Z and the X axis just to make them not look a little bit dull. Now all I had to do was to add the depth of field which was very simple to do. All I had to do was to go into the camera options, turn on depth of field, increase the aperture and increase the blur radius. The nearer or the farther the component or the object away from the focus distance or nearer to the focus distance, the blurrer it looks. So I now had to adjust my component to look as well as how I wanted it to be. Hmm, this is still missing something. Yes, I feel as if it's missing something. Ah, uh, okay, I get it, I get it. I totally forgot about the radial wipe and the lens distortion or the zoom blur which kind of appears when the camera is moving in. So all I had to do was to add the radial blur option and change the option to zoom and create keyframes for the radial blur and then add the radial wipe too on my background just to make it look a little bit more like Benny's own. I then rendered this out and sent it into Adobe Premiere Pro, added a little bit of a final color grade and some sound design and then I was done. Right after all this stress and wahala, I guess we're going to have our effect like this. Thank you guys for staying with me till this part of the video. If this video helped you, I guess then you should give it a thumbs up, a like, that in a comment and you can hit the subscribe button if you like my overall content it helps a lot and it's even free in case you want to go a little further then i guess you can just hit the buy me a coffee link in my account and donate something for this boy because he really really definitely needs it leave a comment in the comment section on which anime character you'd like me to transform into or any vfx you'd like me to try out or break down for you and i hope i'll see you in my next video till then Get some creative ideas and make it real.